Hi, in this video we will talk about how to get some COVID-19 data from the Wikipedia site and then once we import this data into our Excel sheet we can then use the data to create a tree map and then once we create the tree map we'll try to customize it. So let's get started and I would open a new sheet and I'm going to use this website which is the Wikipedia website. This website lists the COVID-19 data on a daily basis. For example, you can see the latest date as of, so this, this website contains the data as of 19 December and gets changed every day. So I'll just copy this URL. So I'll copy and then highlight the first cell, which is A1 and then say data. You can get data in Excel from various sources. In this case, we are going to use the web. So I'll say from the web and then put the URL which we had just copied there and say go. So we have the, the website available to us for loading now and I'll click on import. And then I'll click on OK. So we have all the website content listed in our Excel sheet. We are only interested in this data table. So um, let's see if you want to plot the chart for these few countries or all the countries. We we'll just select a few countries. And then once we select or highlight the countries and the number of cases which we want to use, I'll say insert recommended charts, all charts, and then click on the tree map. Once we do that, we have a tree map. And I'll just make it a bit bigger. So there is our basic tree map. And I can customize it a bit. So the main customization which I want to do is uh, uh, to show the numbers of the cases which we have. And then also want to get rid of the, the legends because the name of the countries are already shown there. There's no point in having a legend up at the, the top as well. So I'll just go to add chart titles, go to data labels and I want to see the data labels. And what, what do we want to see in the data labels? We want to see the category name which is already there and then we want to see the value as well. So you can see the value has come up next to the, the country name and is separated by a comma. But let's do it on the next line. So I'll say new line. So you have two lines there now. The first one represents the country. The second one represents the number. So that's looking good. And then we can also go to add chart elements again. And I want to get rid of the legend at the top and I'll say none. And with that, we have the basic chart available to us. So I'll give it the name COVID-19 tree map in Excel. I hope you found this information useful and simple to use in, in your um, daily practice and uh, thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.